Hey, it's Mr. Barr. This IXL deals with graphing solutions to two-step linear inequalities. So let's do a two-step inequality first. So 2m plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 1. Subtracting 1 from both sides. So 2m is less than or equal to negative 2. Dividing both sides by 2. So m is less than or equal to negative 1. Now I'm going to graph that. I know because of the inequality that it's a less than or equal to, that means it's going to be a closed circle at negative 1. So let's put a closed circle at negative 1. There we go. And I want the numbers that are less than negative 1, so I want to be going this direction with it all the way to the end. Brilliant. So I start by solving the inequality. So I have 3u minus 8, excuse me, minus 4 is less than 8. Adding 4 to both sides, 3u is less than 12, dividing by 3, u is less than 4. Okay, that tells me that it's an open circle at 4, open circle at 4, and I want the numbers that are less than 4, so I'm going to go this direction. Excellent. 5t minus 10 is greater than or equal to 10. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. 5t is greater than or equal to 20. And dividing both sides by 5, t is greater than or equal to 4. OK. Uh, greater than or equal to means it's going to be a solid circle at 4. Solid circle at 4. And I want numbers that are greater than 4, so that goes over here. Fantastic. Oh, this is a good one. Negative r plus 2 is greater than 8. Subtracting 2 from both sides, negative r is greater than 6. Dividing both sides by negative 1, r is less than negative 6. Notice that right here, when I divided both sides by a negative, I ended up flipping the inequality symbol. So r is less than negative 6. So open circle at negative 6. And I want the numbers that are less than that. Great job. 4f minus 9 is greater than 3. I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So 4f is greater than 12. Divide both sides by 4. f is greater than 3. That's an open circle at 3. And I want the numbers that are greater than 3. Negative 6 plus 7w is greater than or equal to 8. Adding 6 to both sides. 7w is greater than or equal to 14. Dividing both sides by 7. W is greater than or equal to 2. That's, what is that? A closed circle at 2, and I want the numbers that are greater than 2. W is greater than 2. Numbers greater than 2. Five H minus 10 is less than 10. Adding, man, I feel like I just did this problem. 5h is less than 20, dividing both sides by 5. h is less than 4. That's an open circle at 4. Open circle at 4, and I want numbers that are less than 4. OK, I'm going to make this my last one. Negative 1 is less than n over 4 plus 1. So let's subtract 1 from both sides. Negative 2 is less than n over 4. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. Negative 8. Now, this is good. I don't, I think in my last video I just talked, I talked about how this is mathematically correct. Negative 8 is less than n. But I like to have the variable on the left side. So I'm going to take this entire thing and I'm going to flop it over. So it's going to be n is greater than negative 8. Notice that the inequality, if it were a mouth, 
it's eating the N, and after I flop it over, it's still eating the N. I'm not flipping the inequality symbol. I'm flopping the entire thing. There's a difference. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully, I'll, maybe I'll talk about it in class. I should. So N is greater than negative 8. So I need an open circle at negative 8, and I want the numbers that are greater than that. All right. What happened? I got my circle type wrong. OK, so I lost it on my circle type. I did. Still, I get it, OK? Um, told you that was going to be my last problem. That's it for that one. Thanks for watching. You do the full homework assignment.